G'day, my name is Kev. This channel is all about creating and maintaining beautiful water features without spending a fortune. If that is something that interests you, please like and subscribe. So today I wanna to talk about bacteria in a pond, why it's so important, and whether or not you should be adding it to your pond. Firstly, bacteria is essential to any healthy pond, specifically nitrifying bacteria. Without nitrifying bacteria, the fish cannot thrive in the pond. The problem is fish produce ammonia and ammonia is toxic to fish. But luckily there's a type of bacteria called nitrosomonas. <laughs> I don't think I said that right. These little champions convert ammonia into another form of nitrogen called nitrite. Unfortunately, the nitrite is still toxic to the fish. But thankfully, there's another little bacteria called Nitrobacter. These guys transform the nitrite into nitrate. Now, nitrate is fairly safe for fish. This entire process is commonly referred to as the nitrogen cycle. If these two bacteria are not present in sufficient numbers to process the ammonia and nitrite, the water will turn green. This is caused by single-celled algae that is feeding off the ammonia and the nitrite. After all, these are both sources of nitrogen and nitrogen is a vital plant food. This algae is actually keeping or helping filter the water and keeping it safe for the fish. Once the levels of the nitrifying bacteria are restored, the pond water will clear naturally. Now the really cool thing about these bacteria is that they're everywhere. You don't actually need to add it to the pond, it's just gonna appear naturally. However, it takes time for the bacteria to grow, anywhere from six to 12 weeks in a new pond. So to speed up the process, you can add bacteria this is commonly sold in pond shops or online as beneficial bacteria. You can buy it in liquid form, powder form, or in already measured little satchels. It's completely natural and safe for all living things, including the cat. These formulations of bacteria that you buy will also contain other strains selected for their ability to break down and consume organic material that sinks to the bottom of the pond. Again though, these strains of bacteria are naturally occurring and they'll naturally find their way into your pond. So do you even need to buy beneficial bacteria at all? Well, no, you don't need to buy beneficial bacteria or there are certainly times when it will help. So firstly, it's going to help when you're starting a new pond because it's going to kickstart that nitrogen cycle for you and that will allow you to be able to add fish sooner. The only other time I find it useful is in early spring. Uh, over winter, the bacteria dies off or goes dormant and as the water temps start to increase, the fish get more active. So during this time, there might not be enough bacteria in the pond. So this is why some ponds, you'll notice, go green in spring. Uh, adding the bacteria once the water temperatures go over 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit will help combat this. It's pointless adding beneficial bacteria in water temperatures under 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit the water's just too cold and the, the bacteria won't reproduce. And I feel like there's no need to add it in summer and autumn. Um, you know, by now the water's nice and warm uh, and the bacteria are reproducing just fine all by themselves um, naturally. I hope this video has been helpful in explaining why bacteria is important to a pond ecosystem and also why you don't need to be dosing the pond all year round. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments section and I'll do my best to answer them.
सही है